Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are picking up exactly where we left off. We are in our Kodiak. We've just been doing a little bit of fuel running and we're now heading into town. Because we need to top up the trailer that we've attached to the P-16. And then we are off to get ourselves an International Transtar 4070A. Which is uh, abandoned out on uh, Smithsville Dam. So that's where we're going. That's what we're doing. Get this up the hill. Now we're going to try and... Not try and. We should, should be able to do a repair job along the way as well. There's a, a, a task to repair a truck. Um, sort of down at the bottom of the swamp anyway in the south end. so we'll we'll look to do that as well in Smithsville. Then we'll look to get the Transtar back. The only thing I want to repair on the Transtar is the fuel tank I think and then we're just going to drag it all the way back because I used repair points to fix the Kodiak and the only thing we couldn't fix was two of the wheels and then to get the wheels and the truck sorted it cost two and a half grand anyway. So I think with the, the international might do that. Just fix the uh, fuel tank. We'll take that back and I might fit a fuel tank on the back of that. And then just collect up fuel like we have with this one. And then be able to run that around the map. I just think that's, I was saying earlier in the last episode, I just think that's going to be easier for me to manage fuel that way. Keep track of where I've got it and where, where I haven't. Because I'm forgetful. But for everyone that is uh, following along and uh, enjoying the series, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Always open for a little bit of feedback if anyone's got anything or. If I ask questions or I say I'm not sure about something, feel free to tell me, let me know if you know. I'm an avid snow runner, an avid mud runner, but hard mode is not something I've ever really challenged seriously. So what I can and can't do at times, I'm not always 100% on. There are things that maybe I would do more in the normal play mode that I shouldn't do or can't do. Now, if you're interested in seeing how, how we tackle normal, I do have a, a stream series that I do on Twitch. Uh, I'm trying to stream that at least twice a week. Snow Runner over there on a Tuesday and a Thursday, sometimes a Saturday as well. We are making progress, but on that it's less, less restrictive, a few more mods, lots of different trucks on the go. We have you know, multiple trucks out at a time doing all sorts. Uh, the releases over here are about a month behind actually what we stream. So if you want to see what we're doing live and where we're up to, come and join us over on Twitch. But if not, I try and release the streams over here on a Wednesday and a Thursday sometimes. I used to upload them from my end and not direct from Twitch, but because I have so much content uploaded at the minute, I have started to do the direct upload from Twitch for them. So they've gone from 2K to uh, 1080p, but hopefully they'll uh, they'll still look all right. People can enjoy it. But like I say, if you want to you want to see it in its best version, come watch it live. Last time out we did the, the, the last few of the easy deliveries here, so we went and found a fuel trailer and returned to the garage, we emptied out the fuel trailer for town supplies and finished that job, and we went and got the, the lost trailer and returned just outside of town. 
because everything else here is a little bit more challenging for us or we just don't have the right vehicles in the map. So we will need to come back either with a fleet star or the white western star with a crane and a bed on the back to go and collect up missing cargo. And we've got a few other little deliveries to do. We need to run the do the, uh, the food delivery, the food run challenge, we need to run that. I think we need to go out to Riverside Supplies, out to what I keep calling the boathouse. I'm not even sure if it's called the boathouse, but I've always called it that. Here, I just want to refuel where we want the source to come from our tank. No. Yeah. And we want to refuel us and we'll refuel Sniffing. That is actually full. Okay, so we have 1800 litres, which is a fair amount. trucks it's through and we are heading off to the dam I might dro drop this off near our garage or what I may do actually I'm not sure if I can attach the scalp trailer to this if we went down to the fuel station and took the fuel out of that little scout trailer and um, put it here, and we could deliver that scout trailer, but I'm not sure if that'll work that way. We'll leave the scout trailer for now. We'll we'll fill off that as we go past to go down and collect the uh, the repair trailer. Sure when we'll be next in Black River. I would say this the, the fleet star and stuff needs to come through. I want to try and crack on with maybe a few more jobs on the other maps. We need to get through and open up more in or open up any of Island Lake. Need to build all our bridges there. <coughs> Excuse me. I will clear my throat today. the dam we go. So to start with I'm just going to take this fuel trailer up to the garage. them for a little bit, whatever we put in the garage or take out the garage we can 
fuel up as we go. And if I do decide to put the fleet star, the fleet star, the um, trans star, with a fuel trailer on, we can just fill up with this. Side here. Fine. Thirty seven point maneuver. <laughs> It's a big old tractor to truck in it. <laughs> it's not very nimble. <laughs> if this is even going to fit down the path I want to take it. Because I want to take it down on this uh, eastern track. Whether that's going to be doable or not, I don't know. Hopefully it'll fit through. If not, I don't know what <laughs> Again, it'll become uh, a paid recovery job if I can't fit it through. So this this it's nearly done anyway. There's only well, just under 400 meters left, so we'll drop that off soon. Have that job done. It's not the end of the world if we pay for fuel at some point, but there are some jobs where we have to come and grab fuel from the fuel station. So I don't mind if I grab some fuel from the fuel station with delivery and then buy 10 liters of fuel fill up the tank. It's not the worst thing. I just wasted two and a half grand on you know, repairing a truck that I could have, or that I'd already put points into, so two and a half grand for four wheels, I think it was, or two wheels. Again, never tried to squeeze the uh, P16 down here, so this will be interesting. Hopefully she goes. Oh, big yellow. These rocky crags like this are going to be where the ooh, where the issues come in.
There we go. I'll tell you what, this truck's a beast. I'm, I'm mad because I've never really used it before. Why did I not? It's, a, it's an absolute tank. <laughs> I've been missing out on all this fun. For years. <laughs> For years of replay in Michigan, I've never spent any time in this truck. And it's an absolute beast. Spare trailer, anyone? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> oh, there. There's a hole. Look at that. We've dug a massive hole out. <laughs> oh, there. Do you think? I'm not going to go for it instant. We've got, we've got to try and get these things back, haven't you? Oh, it's so far away. It is so far away. Um... Landy. Little Land Rover, what can you do? Oh dear, just as I was saying, it's an absolute beast. <laughs> it falls over. Oh dear, right. This might be completely futile, but Gotta give it a go, haven't you? Gotta try. <laughs> Hit that hole and just went for it. <laughs> there, oh dear. I was enjoying it too much. I should have stayed in low gear. Madness. Let me go around here. Oh there. You laugh oh we're taking that bit of that tree with us. You laugh or cry with those things. Too funny. So that's the truck I want to repair later on. And I did say as well, I wasn't certain whether that truck would even fit, fit down that track. But it was that or, or go the really long way to get to the repair trailer. Man, we might have enough repair points on the Scout to repair the Transstar. Just its fuel tank. That's all I want to repair the fuel tank. Just want to turn its engine on and make it push itself a little bit while we tow it. Because here's this is the trailer we were coming to get. Let's see. I think that's our first... Is that our first roll? I think it is. First roll of the series. Let's hope it's not our first... recovery. Do 
don't want to take too many risks and like, lose my scout as well. That's the thing. We've got these blooming cargoes everywhere as well. Forgotten about that. Another hole there. I have to remember that one gets further down. <laughs> so if we can get ourselves probably all behind an indestructible tree. Anchor ourselves on a tree. Catch our winch on the side, then winch there. Come on, bring the truck over. Not working out that, is it? Lay on the tree. Not quite. Oh, come on. Just a little bit of movement. ourselves in the right spot. Too far away now. Trying to get yourself somewhere straight on uneven terrain. Not easy. There we go. Right, tax the winch. Oh. I don't think it's happening, is it? It's not gonna. That is not coming over. That is proper buried. You absolute swine. I wonder if I've got anything that's gonna I say have a little wobble. See if you can free yourself up a little bit. <laughs> Never happened. Can't push it. It's proper wedged in there.
try one more angle with a winch. Excited there, we got some movement. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. You know, you want to come with me. Oh, you little bugger. Twisted it a little bit. Maybe, maybe. We don't want to give up just yet. It's going to be a day recovery today. Something's going to give eventually. Probably my little Land Rover. to get this that front wheel it's, you know it's obviously possible to do Got it at a different. I got the vehicle itself at a different angle now. Can I get myself through these bloody trees? <laughs> Come on! Oh, the the indestructible twig is gonna <laughs> cause me issues in here now. It's not the day it was supposed to be. Right, let's just give ourselves some more fuel as well. not going to do it, is it? It's not going to roll for me. It's going to be such a bugger. Oh, dear. Oh, hang on, wait. Come on, let's get out of here. That is a crying shame. so much in it.
don't want to have to recover. I'd rather spend a day trying to damn thing out and recover. now. Getting myself a little bit flustered out of frustrations. No, it's not gonna. No matter how much I try, that's not happening, is it? Do we bring the fleet star over? Is it worth trying? Is it worth trying with a fleet star? How much is... I mean, I'm doing all this. How much is a recovery, anyway? Oh, eight grand. Oh, dear. Eight grand. I think we have to try with try with the fleet star. Dear oh dear oh dear, this is not what today was supposed was supposed to be recovering the trans star <laughs> with the P sixteen. Not recovering the P sixteen with the fleet star. <laughs> You know, our crane might be able to just, just pick that front end up enough that we can flip it. That might just be wishful thinking, but I've got to get it yet as well. Just not get overzealous and lose this on the way, though. Everything had been going so well. Eight grand for a recovery. I just think, what's the point in worrying about spending a few a few dollars on fuel if we're going to spend eight grand? <laughs> On a recovery. Or perhaps that's why I should worry about whether or not I'll end up spending money on fuel because I'm going to need to spend eight grand on recoveries. <laughs> and now I've got to try and do it in the dark. What an operation this is going to be.
so are you as well. Might as well. Because we are running all wheel all the time. Maybe I should have got some of the new fancy tyres for the police stuff. I thought it was near the garage as well. Didn't think, did I? So I'm more concerned about this blooming truck. If we can save having to spend eight grand on a recovery, we can spend six grand on new tyres. Fleet Star's going to earn its boots. That's what it's going to do. It's going to earn its boots. This isn't the best road to get any truck down, just be honest. <laughs> Risky at all points. And then we got this horrible divot here. Am I gonna roll into? I don't want to. little bit there is oh, it's hot it's like the dip that the uh, the Pacific is stuck in it's just it's so deep and they are everywhere down this track everywhere not a track for trucks. So we're going to go for a similar sort of approach. Try and block our fleet star in. Only this time we can't see if we can get two trees in the way. That wind's just no more powerful as us, the trouble. No more powerful. Need stronger winches. Perhaps I need to uh, be a recovery truck. Spend some money on some powerful winches, repair body, and fuel, that sort of thing. Get a little bit closer, actually.
Oh, this crane is not strong enough. It's shaking the world trying to lift it. Me, innit? <laughs> it's such a sad sight. Such a sad sight. It really is. Oh, dear. Not sure if I can get the fleet star past it to try and pull it through. a winch. can't say I didn't try. So I have definitely tried. And I've got all my trucks over here now. I don't want them in this risky, risky track. Okay. Let's get the Pacific. It's going to be a paid recovery. I am so annoyed. So annoyed. I can't get it out. Can't get it out. Oh dear. Eight grand. So I don't think we want the fine tune. I don't think I'll help us gearbox wise. Stock, tyres, there are no options. Winch doesn't matter because it fell over. Oh, reach level 19? Okay, that's quite a way off. Oh, right, let's go. Well, we've got a more direct route to the... Uh, to the Trans Star, I guess. Try to think. Let's have a little look at the map, shall we? Let's not rush in or anything now that we've uh, we've done this. So we want to get down here. So I think we'll just take the road. We'll just go through. Come down. Oh, we've still got an upgrade in the middle here. I haven't got an upgrade. Yeah, we'll come down here. And we'll get to the International Trans Star, and then I will bring the Fleet Star, not Fleet Star, I'll bring the Landy down, we'll grab the small fuel carrier. Yeah. And maybe bring that there. Just to 
drag the international up and and out really oh oh actually the I don't need to take the fuel bells out I'll just restock the uh, the lands um, extra fuel and we'll go from there I just want the repair parts from the landing, don't I? Some lights on. Not the recovery we were hoping for today. That doesn't bode well for the rest of the series. <laughs> But that's what you, you take risks, and that's what happens. We, we, sh we, you know, in all fairness, we should have gone this route from the get-go. But sometimes I've got to try something. That's that's the way that I I play Snow Runner. And it's really hard for me to play it say a hard mode style because I just I like to have a risk. I like to give something to try to find out. Sort of sense, I guess that's how my hard mode is going to be different from everyone else's. Is that there are going to be more risks at times just to find things out. But I will, I will always do everything I can to try and recover a vehicle, you know, while it's in the correct way over a paid way. Manual rescue and recovery every time. But that's added at least one extra day to completion. Spend half a day trying to put this over. Yeah, I thought we'd got all the uh, the upgrades. I didn't realise you had left one in the middle there. There may be others there, but I've not paid attention to. Unless back then, when we were doing them, I acknowledged it and said we'll get that when we go and recover Transstar. Soon going to be morning. So we need to go in past the quarry. Oh, don't you dare go again. <laughs> it's, basically, it is a pretty stable truck. It was just such a deep hole. Hit a bounce. I mean, we bounced in here. That was some some snow runner physics right there. Bounce a big old truck like this. How are we for actual damage? Oh, wrong one. Uh, oh, we only really took two points of engine damage from that. Which is amazing. <laughs> you would have thought there'd be more. Oh, 
more damage from hitting that tree and that one. So yeah, I saw that big mountain, so I don't think it actually took any damage. further along. Okay. Past that tree line. We'll, we'll grab the upgrades. With the scout later on. over there. How much easier was that? Such an easier route, never mind. And another scriptable root cluster or something. The sun's coming up. we just get in it you'll see it is absolutely knackered on one again so that's why I think I'll just fuel tank it can push on its dead tyres but do fuel tank and maybe some engine power to it do some repair to the engine fuel tank put some fuel in it and then it'll be easier to drag along. What are we for time? It's half past five. So, Land Rover, please. Four. 
before we leave. That's the that's in front of us, I'm saying. Let's put some fuel in Fleet Star, because that was firstly work but not doing anything. to the camel, it's fine. And then the roof rack. Sorted. Right, let's go. Turn it off. Everything just suddenly feels extra unstable to me now, because I don't want to roll again. I know we should be fine, but... Gives you the worries. <laughs> a day. Definitely a wasted day. It is the first one, but it most definitely won't be the last one. I easily anticipate quite a few of those. Hopefully not too many of them in Michigan. But along the way. And that's on a track that I, I know reasonably well. And a new better not to try on. When we get to maps that I've not driven on at all. And don't know their layouts and good roads. That's when the fun begins. Just want to make it to the small fuel trailer. stress me out so much. <laughs> so much. Alright, fuel trailer's just over there.
and we'll fill all all parts. So where are we for time? It's now half past seven, so we will cover it. What a day. What a day. Well, hopefully you enjoyed my struggles, and <laughs> next time we will actually recover the truck we want to recover, and not ourselves. But hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. See you again soon. Bye-bye.